head into the fourth quarter, there are some really interesting things taking place in the local real estate market right now. I'm Mike Field with Field Realty, and this is your November 2023 market update covering the capital region's four major counties, Albany, Rensselaer, Saratoga, and Schenectady. Hey, Kristen, let's talk about those new and active listings. There are 668 new listings this year, reflecting a 7% decrease from the 722 new listings last year. Albany County was the only county that did not see a decrease. Saratoga and Schenectady were both down 9%, while Rensselaer was down 12%. Now let's talk about active listings. This year, there are 1,761 active listings across the counties, reflecting a 10% decrease from the 1,962 listings last year. Schenectady and Rensselaer counties had the largest drop, both of which were 17%. Pat is up next to discuss the pending sales and sold units. There are 590 properties under contract this year, which is a slight 1% decrease from the 598 properties under contract last year. Schenectady County had the largest drop in pendings at 10%. As far as the number of units sold, we tracked this figure, and this had the largest drop amongst all of the stats that we track. Overall, the market was down 24% in the number of units sold from last year. Stay tuned because Emma is going to talk about the sold volume and the average sale prices. The total sold volume decreased by 17% from about 240 million last year to approximately 198 million this year. The average sale price increased by 8%. Albany and Rensselaer counties had the highest increase of 14 and 12% respectively. Regarding sold price to list price ratio, the sold price to list price has increased slightly to 102.25% this year compared to 100.75% last year. Now for some bonus insight. We're definitely seeing some seasonality in the market. It's been a few years since we've seen this. With that said, as we look back at the numbers the last few months, when we look at the active, the new, and the number of contracts year over year, those figures seem to be coming down into the single digits. Regardless of the higher interest rates, buyers continue to shop, and that's evident by the average sale prices and percentage of sale to list price increases. Buyers in this market are facing a dilemma. Do you buy now with a higher rate, or do you wait for rates to fall? And when they do, prices are gonna skyrocket. For the sellers out there, there is a very small window to get your home on the market and satisfy the buyers that are looking to be settled by Christmas or at the end of the year. This motivation of those buyers to be settled could end up netting you more money and selling now than if you were to wait till after the first of the year. If you received any value from this market update, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on your notifications. Be sure to also like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram so you can keep up with the latest with regards to the Capital Region real estate market. This has been your Capital Region housing market update from the field team. And if you have any questions on the market, call us today. Thanks for watching and don't forget the home field advantage.